Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys can join me. This is going to be the last part of the zodiac series for zodiac symbols. Also, fire signs, air signs, and water signs have it linked in my description box below. The symbol determines what the sign is about. They all have something to give to the world. They each represent something. It's important that we know these. So when we do see one of these signs, we understand the purpose in life. So first we're going to start with Taurus. Taurus is represented by the bull. Have you ever been to a rodeo? If you don't know what a rodeo is, it's pretty much a sport that involves a real life bull. As we all know, a bull is an animal. And just like the Taurus, they do have very similar qualities. Taurus is that sign that doesn't really like to bother people. And if they do bother you, it's with affection, it's with love. Other people can see it as weakness. Taurus doesn't look at their sweet nature as weakness. One thing that a Taurus represents as a whole is patience. Until you put a red flag cloth right in front of its face. And the bull doesn't like to be bothered. This is an animal that is extremely aggressive when it is agitated. Or you ride this animal for entertainment perks to test your limits. Taurus is one of those signs that is truly calm and collected, minds their own business, is very good at being vulnerable. But because society looks at them as this cornball, they're coming right at you really, really, really fast. They are a fixed sign, which makes them stubborn, and the bull will start wandering around as if it has no idea what just happened. Once you are stuck in their arena, you're not questioning them anymore after that. A lot of the times, tourists will be in the corner, pretty much doing their own thing, you know, feasting and like watching everybody. And the second someone comes by them and says, hey, what are you doing by yourself over here? That kind of like sets an alarm, you know, the red flag. And people will insist to push and push and push and push and push. You might want to think twice next time, cowboy. Now the next zodiac sign that we're going to be talking about is Virgo. Virgo is represented by the Virgin. Now in most religions, people believe that Virgin Mary, she went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Even though she had all these people doubting her for her immaculate conception, she really couldn't confide in anybody. And because of this, she kept to herself. There is the belief that Virgin Mary took her time helping others and doing prayers and all that. The way that I look at it, the Virgo is a sign of independence. It doesn't have a lot of emotional attachment to a lot of things. Virgo understands that life kind of has to move forward, devotes its life to hard work. When you look at a Virgo, they really do embody earth, heaven. They embody beauty. And even though they find others to be flawed, and they do seem to notice flaws in other people having a picky or finicky type of characteristic. We go back to Virgin Mary. She was looked at as flawed um, because she was so perfect. And she truly does believe that others need to point the finger back at themselves instead of at other people. She is now on Earth. She's a being of Earth. Virgo is a being of Earth. Being an Earth sign. Virgo is the one pointing to you what you need to fix when you add perseverance and you add grit to your work, to your being, to your soul. They have a caretaking ability that they are naturally good at. They like to serve people, motivate people. Now lastly, we have the zodiac sign Capricorn. Capricorn is represented by the goat. They're eating their grass. They look over and their face kind of looks like this. Virgo can be compared to Virgin Mary sending her son as a messenger to the world. Bull is a part of earth, a part of farming. And then lastly, we have the goat, which is able to climb mountains higher than you would believe. I'm hoping that we do see a pattern here. Also, when you look at goats, they tend to disperse from one another. They keep an eye on one another. For the most part, they're doing their own thing and they're not really in clusters. Now, I don't know if you know this, but goats are really intellectual. And also, goats are 
the first of the animals to be domesticated by humans. They can sense their surroundings, know where their food source is, they know what's good for them and what's bad for them, they know where there's danger. They're also able to protect themselves and they're really good at investigating. They're really good at climbing that mountain and taking a risk in life. And Capricorns are exactly like that. So this just goes to show you that Capricorn, even with their attitude, others depend on them. Others know that without this goat, they are nothing. And that's it for the series, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments that you would like to make, please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it so much when you guys engage with me. I really do hope I helped you in some way with understanding the zodiac signs in a much more deeper level. Have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye! I'm Batman, and you're my sidekick. Um, namaste. Lean back, lean back. Look, we're twins. No? You don't think so? Mine are fluffier though. Yours are basic. Never felt this close to you before. I feel like we're bonding. Wake me up!